Okay, here we go. Um, this is going to be sort of the evening, an evening meal. Got the paella, fruit cake, orange drink, and the Tabasco. As I mentioned in the earlier video, these seem to have been manufactured in 2011 with the best before of uh, 2014. And seeing as this paella contains both uh, prawns and chicken, I'm a little bit wary. Seeing as it's uh, six years old now, this being uh, September, late September 2017. But uh, yeah, wish me luck. Right, I'm starting to get even more worried about this one um, before I pour the uh, paella out. Um, the orange drink seems quite almost fizzy when I did it, when I poured it out. And the, um, the fruit cake smells fantastic. It smells like Christmas cake. But... Um, when my mother did Christmas cake, she put like a ton of sherry in it. And I don't think they put sherry in ration cake. So I'm wondering if like the fruit has um, begun to ferment or something. Also, the, um, the paella, the bag, like blew up like a balloon in the pan. So... I know it like heat expands and all the rest of it, but um, like I say, I'm apprehensive. But uh, oh, I've forgotten a fork. So we're not get ahead of ourselves. I'll try a sip of the orange drink. I think that's okay. Yeah. I need this a good heating up. Steaming up. That chicken chunks there. Actually, I might be wrong. This may maybe just a chicken paella. So I'm gonna have a, have a sniff anyway. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Tastes okay, it's like no kind of um. No kind of tingling on the tongue or back of the throat. Nice lump of chicken there. I think that's okay, it's just a bit dull to be honest. Might have to give it a bash with the Tabasco. If I can get it open. I know you're meant to do this like under fire or from an, sat in the semi darkness in the in a trench or something or in a foxhole or whatever, but maybe I'm uh, Maybe I'm getting mixed up with what these are used for. The Tabasco definitely doesn't want to come out to play. Hang on a minute. There we go. Hmm. Green Tabasco.
Right, well if that is off I'm dead, but uh, I'll bring you back in a second. Well, I think uh, I think that bit's okay. I think the orange drink's okay. I'm not feeling uh, any ill effects. The only thing I would say is it just, you know, when the, the edge has just gone off the flavour, like, it just tastes old. Uh, right, let's have a look at this. I see that. I don't think you can see it's quite. Um, it's oily a lot. It does. It smells like. It smells like Christmas cake. Oh well. I think that's okay. It's um, it's like the moisture seeped to the outside. It's a bit dry in the inside, but yeah, we'll live with that. Next instalment will be tomorrow morning, or in a couple of seconds. Morning campers decided upon. Um, Apple drink, muesli, and a fruit pocket for uh, breakfast. Let's make those up. Eh? Okay, I've got the, everything mixed up. Move that out of the way. This is the apple drink. I've mixed it up with slightly less than 375 mils of water. I put half, it's in a half pint glass, so I don't know what that is. So it's possibly stronger than it's meant to be. That's nice, it's slightly um, spiced taste. If that, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but uh, yeah, like, um, what do we call them? Slightly tart apples. Granny Smith or something like that. Maybe. quite quite ordinary quite um, bland you can see it's quite stodgy even though I put I spilt a bit of the muesli when when the opening the bag the bag burst so it's not the full amount of muesli but it's a full amount of water in words quite thick if that's how you like it that's and I do that's lovely but uh, yeah Getting a little bit of fruit taste. Our apple and mango fruit pocket. It's a bit healthy, this really, for me. Bacon sandwich is more my style. Mm. That tastes okay, too. Uh, if apple and mango is your bag, you'll probably like that. Yeah, nice. Uh, polish off that lot. All right, that was a uh, very filling. I like that. I like the uh, apple juice. It's quite um, tangy and refreshing. The uh, muesli, as you can see, as I got deeper in, I'd like more fruit in it and uh, different kinds of seeds and that. I'm not a, a seed expert, so I like to see. I'd, I'm more of a bacon sandwich breakfast man when I eat breakfast. This is fine. It's not. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not gone off or anything. It's. Um, yeah, apple and mango just uh, doesn't do it for me. I'm afraid. Um, and as you may have gathered, the. Um, me. Uh, me supper meal. Me. 
my cake, my fruit cake, and my um, paella, uh, and I think that was it. it. Hasn't done me any harm, no ill effects. So, despite the fact that this is um, three years past the best before date, best before date. Yeah, that's right, and. Uh, six years past the date of manufacture it seems to be holding up pretty well but uh, yeah we'll keep plowing through it and see what we we'll get right so here's breakfast number two We've got the raspberry beverage powder made up with the raspberry drink Kind of tastes like um, melted ice pops. Canny. I don't know whether I've done this right because this calls for half a litre of the hot chocolate drink. Hot chocolate with orange. But I've just made it up as a mug for it so it might be a bit strong. It's rather hot but oof. Oh, that's nice. I think it uh, works well like that. Sorry about the slurp. Stems in the oat biscuits. Had ginger snaps knows exactly what they are. It's kind of crispy, gingery biscuit. That'll keep me going through the morning. So, um, yeah, next up, lunch. Well, that was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed the hot chocolate. It was. Um, nice and thick seeing as I'd, I don't think I'd put enough water in it certainly wasn't half a litre um, yeah, the, uh, the raspberry drink was uh, definitely kind of ice pops stroke panda pops kind of flavour um, ginger biscuits were nice for all that the rations um, six years on from manufacture um, Biscuits weren't stale, nice, nice crisp and a nice sort of gingery taste to them. Very, um, yeah, very nice. I'm still in the polo mints there, and I think you can see. They do not seem to have survived the test as well as um, as well as the other stuff. Two minutes. No, he's up. Not as polo mint should be. They're sticky, and they uh, they smell. And you can see like off colour. So I think that is the first casualty of the ration. Um, if can see. Oh, there we go. Best before April 2014. So we're at September 2017. So uh, yeah, first casualty. Okay, here we go with lunch. Mexican tuna pasta. Again, uh, production date 29th of April 2011. 
Uh, this could be one. It's what's it? It's got all the uh, high risk things in tuna. It's not always good, is it? Let's see what we've got. I've not heated it up because uh, I mean, the only time I would heat up tuna would be like a tuna steak, to be honest. Smells okay. Chuck it all over the table. So yeah, that smells okay. Nice big uh, chunks of tuna, kidney beans, sweet corn. There's spiral pasta a bit of red pepper and that try and get everything in how are Good, no, no, uh, unnatural tastes. Slightly spicy, I think. I hope that's spice, <laughs> not impending botulism. But uh, yeah, uh, seems okay. Yeah, that was quite nice. Um, no ill effects. It was actually, there's a little bit of heat in it anyway, I suppose that's the uh, Mexican vibe of it, however I did, I did add a touch of my own uh, hot sauce, which I tend to carry with us. So, what's for dessert? Fruit bar, nut mix, um, made in Denmark, it's a really international um, Internationally sourced ration, this one. Sorry, uh, it's a, a bendy one. And it's a bit like the um, the fruit cake, the fruit cake from earlier on. Whether it's meant to be like that or not, I don't know. Hmm. Mm, that was lovely, nice and light and moist. Um, like I say, reminiscent of the fruit cake on my mum's Christmas cake. So that's it for lunch. So. Spearmint white, sugar free dental chewing gum. So far, it's only the. Um, uh, yeah. Again, it's the same as the polos, they've. Uh, they've died to death. They should be like uh, hard shell uh, chewing gum. So. Oh well, I think um, I think all we've got left is a vitamin tablet and some more chewing gum. So maybe another fruit bar. So I haven't got that with me. So we'll try that back at the studio a bit later. See you in a bit. Okay, viewer, be brave. Here we go. One last push. It'll all be over. Vitamin tablet, soluble in 500 ml of water. Set that away first. Mm, a quick look at the chewing gum. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah. 
that is well and truly dead that one so as I say the things that have gone wrong in this ration were the things that I wasn't bothered about and the, all the other things like the chicken and the tuna and the rice and stuff have, uh, have been fine um, I mean the fruitcake nuts and fruit are supposed to uh, deteriorate quite fast so let's try these these are just it's just a nut mix you can see there's walnut peanut it's like hazelnut look okay Tastes fine. A lot of stuff from this uh, Oritho company. Date on that is 18th to April 2014. It feels a bit funny, but it's a kind of uh, track F style bar again. And that's fine. I really don't understand. I'm glad, but... Mm. Excuse me, chewing. Get that washed down with our vitamin drink. Which is a fetching colour of um, bad kidneys. Yeah, not much taste at all, it's kind of vaguely um, medical, so um, leave us with an antibacterial wipe. The coffees and the teas I put to one side, I don't drink tea, and everyone knows what Nescafe is like, that's if they haven't uh, gone do lally, but uh, yeah, as you can see you, you still get the um, feedback drawn entry form. But it's just obviously a slightly older version of it. It's the full menu list there. And with that, bye bye now.